Okay, real quick, I just wanted to throw go through a quick visual for this lesson for a beginner, and I want you to correct me. We have the master teacher. You cannot be learning from anybody better. He's teaching me, so I'm passing this on. So here's a person. Let's say they're moderately informed, because you said this is the most important thing. Quick question. If we had to put something right here, where is the best place to get informed? Although you need multiple sources. I, I, I like two places that I recommend most these days. Okay. One is Steam, S-T-E-E-M, -E -E yep. yep. and then IT. Yep. Dot com. Steam it. Go here for your information. That's a decentralized version of Reddit. This is what the new internet will look like. It is not a website. Okay. It is a block explorer, but it is indistinguishable from a website. So the new internet sites are going to look like this. So this you need to see. I mean, just to study it's, it. Read, uh, learn this itself. It's amazing. But what it is, it's a decentralized Reddit where the content lives on the web. It's immutable and it's censorship resistant. Yeah. The next one I love is YouTube. Okay. You know, YouTube's got... Any channels you like? I mean, just go through and listen to people that, you know, and you can always move on to the next one and find people that, you know, uh, that you can resonate with. Yeah. You know, because it's about vibration and some people are, you know, going to teach, talk to you in a way that you learn better than from others. Yes. And so you'll flip through the stuff. Obviously, it normally has more views than others is a good place to start. Yeah. And, you know, if you don't like it, go to the next one. Yeah. Um, but you don't want, you want to be looking for content that's relatively new. Um, you okay. can start if you're in a beginner stage. You can do the early, like, evergreen content, like what is a Bitcoin wallet, all that stuff. But when you get to moderate, you want to be using recent content, just like books are generally not good for stuff that this is cutting this cutting edge yes. and changing this rapidly because that, by the time the book is printed, it's yes, out of date. It's too, just yeah. like universities today, they're teaching things, you know, that have to get accredited, and by the time you learn it, it's already outdated. It's not useful anymore. Yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah. Okay, so next, they're ready to put in, let's say they say, I'm ready to put in... $1,000. You were mentioning this earlier. What's the next step? They're informed. Yeah, so you're going to need to buy it. So you're going to need to find a way of get, a way of transacting or an exchange, right? Okay, so you need the exchange. And okay. so you can do... Um, Let's name one or two. Can, you can do person-to-person -person transactions, and there's like an app like Abra, A-B-R-A. You know, this is where you can do like a trade. Someone will like... Abra, A-B-R-A. -A. Abra, like Abracadabra. Yep. Uh, amazing company. Okay. You also then can do the online exchanges like... Uh, Coinbase. Okay. Uh, you know, you've got Gemini. Co Let's just keep it simple. Coinbase Kraken, and Gemini. And Kraken. Those are Kraken. the three out there. Okay. Now, so they, so now they're exchanged where they can buy them. What do they do next? They need to store them. Yeah, so until you know what to store, don't move it from here. So but you can leave it the, here. So storage is the next thing. Yep, storage. And so you want to learn as you, as you start to build up your skill levels, as you upgrade and get smarter and... More informed. Hopefully, it goes up a little bit. Yeah, uh, you want to start to improve your storage, and this is where you want to start using wallets. Okay. So, wallet storage is the wallet. So you want yep. to just we can call them the same thing basically. Okay. Uh, and so, then you have to decide what kind of wallet. You have a couple of types of wallets. You've got uh, 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 your cold wallet, cold storage wallet, and then you've got your hot wallet. Okay. You got your cold storage, and you got your hot. Explain yeah. the difference real fast for people. So one is kind of your online storage. One is using a, a, a web or mobile wallet. Yep. So which cold storage would you use? So uh, the, these are like getting uh, hardware wallets. Hardware. So yep. uh, uh, Trezor or T-R-E-Z-O-R. T-R-E-Z-O-R. Or the Ledger Nano. Or Ledger Nano. They're both okay. great. And, and, and sometimes they're sold out with markets, so I, I mean, if one's available, do one over the other. They're both great companies. And you get two? I would get two of these. Get two of whatever you choose. Because you, you want to have backups. You know, you want to be doing this intelligently. You want to build in redundancy yes. as you get good at this and as the amount of money that you have is, is there. And you'll learn to have even greater redundancy if this becomes millions of dollars. So then you have your web wallets. Okay. You know, um, and this is what you're, you know, you're often using. You've got like wonderful ones for Bitcoin, like Bitgo, B-I-T-G-O. Bitgo for it depends yeah. on what coin. Yeah, and so some of them like Bitcoin. Bitgo specializes in like being the best at Bitcoin, but then you have other wallets that support other tokens. And if you have other tokens, this wallet won't be able to cover everything. So maybe a Jax here. A Jax wallet is good. Um, you know, you got some other online ones like uh, uh, Ether Wallet or uh, Exodus. Okay. You know. And so you've got a bunch of them to basically look at, and that's how you have your storage. And, and this is basically it. With your web wallets, 
or any of these wallets, sometimes they have a passcode. Yes. I mean, that's a special phrase if you need to recover. Yes. Make sure you store whatever it is that you have, in, you know, in on paper in a safe place. Have it in a safe. Because if you do lose your wallet for some reason, you have to make sure you have your recovery stuff. Make sure you save that. Do not mess that up. And the last thing is make sure you use two-factor authentication to make sure that all of this is secure. And do not use SMS. Two-factor, uh, you use Google Google app. Authenticator or something better. But that's the best place to start. And if you move beyond that, it's because you've learned more. And these should be stored in a safe at your home or potentially also somewhere else. Yes, it becomes big numbers. But by then you'll be informed enough you won't need this basic explanation you'll and, and and the world of it will have likely changed by then and the players might be different i mean that's the beauty of a market that is growing this rapidly it's it's uh it's changing quickly and it's very exciting this is powerful stuff my man thank you so much. i owe you a ton for this everybody thank watching this is thank amazing you. so we'll go through this we'll put links below so you got everything you got it from the best